particularly. Where am I? There I am. Hey, how's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel. I got to improvise today. I, for some reason, I didn't think I'd be filming um, a, an additional video. I thought I would just be filming some B-roll. So um, I just came out with the uh, Mavic Air 2 and I thought I would do, since I'm here, I thought I would do a quick video um, that I haven't seen much video on. Um, and again, I don't do a lot of research. Hopefully I'm keeping myself in the frame here. A little bit shy. Come on, come on. Let me get this camera pointed right at me. Um, I don't do a lot of video on... Um, things that I like I don't watch a lot of other youtubers videos for those clickbaity like trendy videos and I think I should because it actually gets you promoted and it gets you more visibility but um, I try to do original content and I'm sorry if I am like making a false statement that I haven't seen many videos about the precision landing of the DJI Mavic Air 2 so since I'm out here at the pond um, I wanted to do a quick video on the precision landing of the DJI Mavic Air 2 and pretty much how to perform a profi well, huh, how to perform a precision landing um, the correct way because precision, precision landing does require um, an, an important step that you have to do in order for this drone to kind of land with the most accuracy. So what I'm going to do is because again I am using the drone as my cameraman, what I'm going to do is just set this up and walk you through step by step on how to perform a precision landing. So for, just to prove like how close we get, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use you're probably not going to be able to see this until I get up in the air. I'm going to use a marker. Let's see if I can get that. Ooh, let's see if I can get that in there. Oh, tilt the camera down. Okay. So I'm going to use this marker right here, which is my uh, my new trendy tr merch, probably t-shirt line I'm coming with. Um, so I'm going to use this marker as my takeoff point. And let's pin that camera back up forget how slow I got this pan to work so it keeps it nice and smooth and what we're gonna do is and I and once you get up and once I get up in there you're gonna see the very small area of landing that I have I have very little margin of error here um, if you can see behind me from where that pad is I got maybe uh, let's just do a quick walk one two three about five feet before the drone is in the drink and if I pan up here See how I can get that up there? I'm standing right underneath a bunch of trees and I can't get that to go too far, it's just gonna pan down, but I'm standing underneath a bunch of trees that if this is all five feet in front of me, to the left of me, or to the right of me, it could be potential catastrophic call in your DJI refresh care um, uh, claim so you can get this thing repaired. But again, I'm gonna show you how to do this correctly so that you hopefully don't have to do that so let me get the drone up in the air and let me walk you through step by step on how to do a precision landing so again we're going to start off right over top right four foot away from the water i want to put this drone right down on top of this clipboard and when i get up in the air i'm going to pan the camera down so that you can see that i actually did take off from the clipboard take off the home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. All right, so as you can see, I am I'm sort of over the clipboard, but I'll line that up just to make sure that, you know, I'm dead center with it. And as you can see, if I pan up a little bit there, like I said, I am five foot away from the water. And I know that's annoying as hell, so let me try to back out of it. And... I'm gonna just back that up just a little bit so I can keep that beeping going the way. Okay, so now as you can see, I am directly over top of that clipboard. And I'm gonna take it up um, to approximately like uh, 40 foot. I'm gonna take it up 40 feet um, just so that the uh, bottom facing can, uh, bottom facing cameras, damn, this is annoying. Let me walk away from that a little bit more. There you go. So I'm gonna, <laughs> you still can see something. So I'm gonna take it up about 40 feet. You have to do this to, to, to do a precision landing. And that's so that the bottom facing cameras can get a snapshot of the area that you're landing on. The drone will land based on GPS location. It'll bring you, it'll bring it back to its original location based on the GPS location. But the drone actually takes a snapshot of its takeoff point and you need something with some contrast, right? So that's why you wanna take it up 40 foot so that it can see the differences around the area. So I'm gonna take that up about 40 or 50 feet. Just get it straight up in the air. I'm gonna 
gonna get up until the beeping stops. Okay, so that's about 40 feet. And what you wanna do is once you got it at about 40 feet, you wanna just let it sit still for about 30 seconds. And again, the reason you're doing this is because you wanna make sure that you're getting the most accurate, precision landing. And like I said, if you can see now how dangerous this may be, if this precision landing doesn't go well, um, you know, again, I'll be calling it in if it, if, it, if it ends up in the trees or in bushes. But I'm confident because, you know, I do trust DJI products. I trust the tech. So we're going to take it now up to 200 feet. Probably about 190. We're going to take it up to about 190 feet. Again, you can see. Just do a quick recording here. See me pull up to about 190 feet. Okay, so I'm at 190 feet. And now what I'm going to do is, again, just to make this make so it doesn't look like I'm just bringing this straight back down. I'm going to turn this camera up just a little bit. And I'm going to aim it pretty much right down the center of this stream. And I'm going to go out. I'm going to fly out about. Oh, hit the record button. But yeah, why not? I'm going to fly out about, uh, you know, 10 seconds. So let's go out 10 seconds. One, two, three, four five six seven eight nine let's go a little bit longer than ten let's go out to the center right past this tree line that just as, as, as it leaves the screen all right so at this point i want to do a landing i want to return to home and i'm a new pilot and i'm not sure um, how to get this thing home and i want to make sure i land in the spot that i take off because i haven't practiced my hand catch if you haven't seen that video i'll leave a little card up here but what we want to do is on the left side of the screen we want to hit the home button and you want to make sure because when i was a new pilot i know i did this a couple times you want to make sure you hit return to home don't panic if you're in a situation where you think that you might be in trouble look at the screen read your options use your right thumb hit return to home and not landing i've almost landed this thing in a river because it, i hit <laughs> landing and it was like hold on something's not right here and then i caught it and bailed out but what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit return to home I'm gonna let it do it. I'm gonna let it no, no. let it do its thing. Let it do its thing. Very nice shot. Line it up here. And again, you as you saw when I took off, I'm taking off from this very tight, tight little peninsula here on the um, stream. And what I'm gonna do is, as it gets over top of me, I'm gonna pan that camera down so that you can see the ridiculous little area that I got to land on. It's coming into frame right now. There I am. You can't see me. I'm standing in right underneath the shaded line here. But it is now lining up its shot, okay? So I took it off and I turned it. It's gonna actually line itself up to make sure that it can do this landing. Landing. And as it did, it, since I took it off nose first toward the, toward the uh, pond, it aligned the shot the same way that it took off from. Now, here we go. Here's a test of truth. How accurate is this precision landing? I'm telling you right now, it looks like that little that little clipboard is still dead center in the middle of this screen. So if it don't land on that little clipboard, I'd be surprised. And since I don't have another camera, I can't show you it coming in. I'm just gonna let it record. Here it comes, getting closer. It missed the trees, it missed everything. And look, that clipboard is still dead center. It's still dead center. It's still dead center. And I got the camera all the way down, folks. The camera is all the way down and it pans it up because it wants to, not to damage your camera if you're landing in grass. So, I wish I could show you this, which I am going to show you this. I'm going to try to show you this right now. I'm going to pan that camera down. This drone landed right on top of that clipboard. So I'm going to pan it down so that you can see. Oh, you can't see because of the, the camera is right. The camera is right at the edge. The camera is right at the edge of the clipboard. But I'm going to, I'm going to just pan this. I'm going to slide this back so you can see that this, this drone is right on the clipboard. It's actually physically. In fact, you know what? I know what I can do here. Let me stop this recording. Let me go into before i move it let me go into oh man i don't want to stop recording so i got to make sure i do this right let me move this out of the way let me go into go back home come on okay let me go back home and let me open up my real camera here we go it's probably still screen recording so you can probably see that video mode okay so it's still screen recording and as you can see i landed on the clipboard that I took off from. How how much more accurate could that be, right? Four or five foot that way, I am in the drink. Four or five foot that way, I am uh, into the trees or into the bushes. 
four or five foot this way. I'm also into the trees and bushes. Not bad. I could probably recover it. Probably wouldn't do that much damage. I probably would actually catch it and, you know, maybe have to repair the props. But how much more accurate could that be, man? That's ridiculous. So let me go back into the DJI app. Give me a second here, folks. Okay. Now, I'm going to pick this up and pan up. Oh, actually camera was pointing way tucked in way to the belly of this freaking drone it was like so far down it was almost pointing backwards i didn't realize that that camera could pan down that far pan back that far so yeah that is how you perform uh let me get that up a little bit higher and then kind of turn it toward myself it's hard to do this because the gimbal compensates for the rotation of the drone and now i can point it at myself there you go okay reverse the grip so that's how you pull off a precision landing with the dji mavic air 2 and i know some of them used to have a switch that said precision landing that you had to turn on um just because the mavic air 2 doesn't have that switch does not mean that it doesn't have the feature if it's got bottom facing cameras it should be able to pull off a precision landing um and like i said the only thing that you have to do and make sure that you do to keep it um as accurate as possible is first get your gps location locked in so wait for it to say you know location has been updated which means that it has your gps location then you want to take it up to about 40 feet so that you get a nice contrasty um, picture the bottom cameras get a nice contrasty picture of what the ground looks like it will actually impose that into its memory somewhere and when it comes back based on your gps location it's going to rotate the drone in the, in the orientation that it took off from it's going to try to line up that shot as best as possible with the picture that it took before it took off and it's going to land that as you saw damn no not even damn near on the bullseye almost every time the only time you wouldn't probably get a dead ass bullseye landing is if you got a strong crosswind or something that's pushing that drone around so that it's struggling to keep its lock when it's coming down and, and that's happened too so be sure if you're trying to pull off a precision landing you're not doing it in, in conditions that will you know affect how it comes in because like i said if it's a, a strong ass crosswind that drone is going to be bouncing back and forth like this trying to um keep itself steady and stable and probably drift a foot or two left or right um and then you know before it lands it'll probably try to correct itself as, as it gets closer to the ground so you don't have to worry about it but again i'm just getting on i'm going on around about you know, the things I've already said. So hey, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Peace.